Six of them. Six minutes, okay, one we're second. Almost there. We're almost there. the three better times that Long State holds two of them. So he now has three of the four fastest times in Western State's history. while you were running with Scott Jurek. You are in exceptional company now, and he had only nice things to say about you. What does it mean to be in that elite group of three peak finishers here at Western States? Well, Scott and Tim both have a lot more than just three in a row, so. Um, yeah, I don't know, it means they kind of, He's being thinking a little, but uh, those guys are legends, and uh, they hold their own right in their era and forever at Western State. So um, I'm grateful for them 
paving the road and setting the bar so high and who knows. Uh, maybe maybe we'll keep it going. That's right. What a beautiful What a beautiful thing to say. You do stand on the shoulders of giants, but you are among the giants now. You mentioned that this was a tough training block for you. Can you describe for those who maybe didn't follow the race as closely, who aren't diehard ultra fans like all of us here in the stadium, why this was such a hard build up for you and why this is so special? Yeah, pretty much. Uh... The whole train block's just been day to day with an IT band kind of tendonitis issue in my left knee, and um, it's been frustrating. I haven't been able to really train with anyone because even if people ask me to go for a run, it's like, well, kind of got to see how it is in the morning, or uh, I got to do a bunch of drills before my run, or bring a mat to do them uh, wherever I go, and uh, a lot of it. Just tried to get out early in the morning and knock it out. And um, yeah, it was a it was a tough training block to just get after it, keep getting out the door. And um, I think probably a lot of people can relate to that. It's not always pretty, but uh, the goal is worth it. So it sounds like it was kind of an isolating training block in a lot of ways because it was maybe too high maintenance to get out with a bunch of friends. So what did it mean to you to have a runner who we're going to welcome here, you know, in the next hour or so, Hayden Hawks, running shoulder to shoulder with you for so many early miles, someone who looks up to you and is who part of this next generation of ultra runners? Yeah, um, it was really awesome to have Hayden for the, about the first 50K. Uh, he was just talking my ear off, and I hadn't had that at Western States before, and um, I'd take it any day. It was a pleasure to run with, and uh, it's great to see him hanging in there and making his way to the Auburn track um, in his debut West, at Western State. So it's not an easy day to do it, and he's proving himself really tough right now. So true, great sportsmanship and friendship with both you guys. Jim, reflect on your journey here at Western State. You came in 2016, infamously missed a turn, which unfortunately meant that you didn't win in your first attempt, but it ultimately made your story just one of the greatest sports stories of all time. You came back in 2017, admittedly probably ran a little bit reckless that year, you learned, you came back with some humility, and you won three in a row. Reflect on your journey. Uh, I still hate that uphill turn that I missed in 2016. I think I was cursing that today. Um, and then 2018, I saw two or three bears there, of a, like a mom bear and two cubs. And, uh, yeah. I don't know, I just to it past um, Yeah, that hill's been pretty rough for me. And uh, today it was definitely kicking me. So uh, it's nice. It's something to that. Rogue points is sometimes pretty cool. Uh, but uh, Patty O'Leary owes me a beer. He was supposed to be there. Uh, he missed me. So. He, I think, currently or was, at least was on pacing duty okay. for the young Drew Holman, who is also on a tear in the top four right now. So we'll be welcoming Peter to the track in not so long, which will be so cool to see. And not to give you a softball, but you've been running it in the heat all day. You're a little bit cooked. What does the next two weeks look like for you? What are you going to do to decompress after this long, hard day at the office? Um, a couple days off. <laughs> uh, I got to go to a wedding next weekend in Philadelphia. So I'll probably have a couple extra drinks. And then uh, 
And then my partner Jess is who crewed me all day today. Uh, she's doing the Silver Rush 5050. Uh, yeah. so I, I got crew duty all weekend, and uh, we're gonna try to make it a successful race day for her uh, two days in a row. So I've never really crewed for a bike race, so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> this is a, this is of course the 50 mile foot race in Leadville on Saturday, followed by a 50 mile bike race on Sunday. So shout out to Jess, that is. Just, Truly really remarkable. I think it's a good opportunity to allow you to, to thank the people that have helped you get to this place. People like Jess, people like the parade of friends and family who chased you down from Roby Moy. Who would you like to thank? Yeah, um, all my crew today. You guys were all-stars. You guys had to patch up some rough aid stations, uh, probably more so than the last couple years, but I guess there's been some other tough ones. I got about 10 of them there. Uh, oh man, I'm gonna miss names if I try to. <laughs> Nonetheless, uh, you guys mean so much to me. Um, really appreciate it. Everyone here, thank you so much. Uh, the whole community around Western States, you guys just, really make me feel so welcomed and it feels like a hometown race every time I do this and I couldn't say thank you enough and I've never seen this many people whining in the streets in Auburn. You guys came out in full force today and the energy is amazing and uh, I mean for having 320 runners this year, this race is insane. Like per person, the, it's just off the charts, and uh, you guys are what make this special. And thanks so much for coming here, and uh, maybe skipping some of your runners to come see me finish. <laughs> but I appreciate it, and appreciate all the love and all the support. And uh, it's really a pleasure to be able to pull off today with Hoka sponsoring this race, uh, coming in here. Um, they've just done an awesome job. So it's pretty, sweet, it's pretty sweet to see this lime in blue this year, and it's, uh, it's unique, and it, it means a lot. It means a lot to me. I've um, been partnered with them for basically my whole career, and uh, this one means a lot. Yes, thank you so much to Hoka. Yeah, we remember when you were wearing that cut-up t-shirt that first year. Hoka came in and said, we got a better t-shirt for you, kid. And here we are, several years later. Jim, I know you have to rehydrate so you can go to drug testing. But again, the hardest part. thank you from all of us here. It was amazing. Amazing to watch. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah.